Hello guys I wish you a warm welcome to Usitility. Do you know what? We are on the way to discover how to play The Walking Dead No Man's Land on PC. From now you are able to watch it on your screen. We will be able to easily download and install The Walking Dead No Man's Land and enjoy playing this game on our Windows desktop or laptop using our gamer keyboard if we want to, mouse and big screen. So it's time to have fun, let's go! First of all folks, the first thing to do is to launch our favorite web browser. We selected the one we prefer. Let's go to that URL I have highlighted in green color. Now, you can see on the screen of the PC. You don't need to type the URL, because there's a link in the video description and the first pinned comment. We landed here on our own site of Usitility, in which we include a in-depth description on the way to download The Walking Dead No Man's Land on computer. We scroll down a tad and press on the Download Game on PC button. Once we click on that link, we get to the site of LD Player. No panic, it is simply the Android emulator that we will launch to get access to the game The Walking Dead No Man's Land on PC. It is now obvious that we have some pros of running the emulator. Custom controls, multiple instances, instance synchronization, macros, scripts, high FPS, etc. Now we are on the way to proceed to download the The Walking Dead No Man's Land by simply clicking on this button Download The Walking Dead No Man's Land on PC that I have marked in green. We then click on it and the download action takes no time at all. Voila, here is located the download. It's an executable file. The following step is to run the executable file, so we click on the file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to make modifications to the system. We clicked yes, I minimize the web browser to see the installation software considerably better. The installer is very simple to use. It is made up of a couple of choices, install, and setup path. I will clarify what setup path does. We only click on it. So we see that we display here the path where the emulator can be put in. If we prefer to modify this directory we have to click on the Browse button. And now we pick another directory and install the emulator exactly where we want. To keep it simple, just keep it by default. I simply click back. So I pick Install. Right now, before starting setting up that emulator, it is also possible that it'll present us one or more application offers to set up on our computer. As I do not want any of these software, I purely press several times on the reject option. Voila, the install starts and it is going to carry on along with the download of those megabytes that are shown on that screen. Once you download it, it could be more or less megabytes. The download speed can be at a higher speed or slower, subject to your type of connection and depending on the data transfer rate of the emulator hosting servers. Immediately they're going rather fast. The download is has been completed, and straight away it continues on with the setup procedure. The installation will take a little bit more or less time according to the power of your computer. The more efficient it actually is, the shorter the installation time and vice versa. If we combine the download and software setup step it can take a very long time, so show patience. It is already completely finished for me. At this moment, the emulator has actually been launched on autopilot. As you can observe, down here, we have a progress bar which will fill up then when it gets to the end, the emulator can be launched for the first time. The truth is the emulator has already been started, there for the first time. Then LD Store is automatically started, which is actually a sort of Google Play. It's not the optimal way to set up the game, and therefore I don't propose it, since occasionally the LD Store installs an outdated version of the game app. I will explain the way to set up the video game making use of Google Play I recommend you to do it this way. The first thing we must make is to head to the computer's desktop by hitting this icon that I'm pointing out in green. Before we carry on, as you can discover, it created a couple of software icons right here on the PC desktop. The LD Player and LD Multiplayer. Note that the LD Player icon is definitely the one we are considering. Anytime we are planning to run The Walking Dead No Man's Land on our PC, we twice click on this specific app icon and therefore start the emulator. The LD Multiplayer icon has nothing to do with multiplayer or even anything like that. The fact is that, it is an icon that we may quite likely never ever make use of. Why don't we do the next phase, which is actually a must-have, and which is to log on to the Google Play Store. To do that we will browse there to, System Apps, we click on. And we'll click on Play Store. As you can observe the Google Play is presented. Here we have got to log on. At this point when we're right here, we must definitely accomplish the following step which is obligatory. Therefore we just click on, Sign In. At this moment it announces, Checking Info. It can occasionally get stopped at, Checking Info, and so it fails to move ahead. If that's the case, you can attempt to connect to your account after a couple of hours and it'll almost certainly be resolved. At this moment we are going to provide our username and password. 
The email has to be a Gmail email as well as its related password. For example you may use the very same email you are using at this time in your YouTube account. Then I will enter my info and I'll return as soon as I have accomplished it. That's it, data typed. Discover Google welcoming us and supplying us their terms of service. We are going to approve them simply by hitting, I agree. Following, it allow us to back up to the Google Cloud. You can also keep it selected and this will produce a backup of your data on this device to Google Drive. I am not going to check it, you can utilize this option if you desire. We click on accept. The Google Play is presented by default and instantly. Whenever the Google Play just isn't started immediately and you do not know how to run it by hand, I demonstrate how to get it done. First thing is to head to the emulator desktop by clicking on this icon marked in green color. At this point we navigate to the system apps folder. And we click on the Play Store icon. Alright, I am here into Google Play. What we are going to accomplish now is go here to, search for apps and games. And we're going to locate the Walking Dead No Man's Land. Currently there we get it, we should click the first result. There we have the Android game. Let's quickly simply click there on the, install, button that I am just displaying now in green. And this will start the software setup. At this time it is going to download on your PC and install the game app. It will take some time or it might well be extremely fast. It all relies on our internet access. It's already ended setting up. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on this option I'm showing in green, that allows you to run the Walking Dead No Man's Land for the first time. We're presently on the emulator desktop, and we are preparing to mouse click on this new The Walking Dead No Man's Land app icon that's been created. This game is started for the first time. Now there we get it, I'm able to click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should talk about the volume of that emulator. It's right here, we have got the icon of higher volume and also the icon of lower volume. This way we are not going to rely on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound of your emulator. And to appreciate the experience to the fullest, we will activate the large monitor, for which we have two options. This is simply the first one, we then click on that software icon which I am pointing out in green color. And the display screen is maximized, having one border on top, one at the right and one at the bottom. In the event that we desire to play the application using all the screen, we select this icon. Then we would probably already be experiencing and enjoying the Android game in 100% screen setting. To leave the full screen setting, push the F11 key. Then we would undoubtedly already play in regular display setting. At present, I am going to explain you the computer keys mapping and that is really rather appealing. This strategy we will certainly be capable to utilize the game app much more easily. The first thing is to press this keyboard icon. And here you will be able to complete the recommended configuration settings. I most certainly will keep the default settings, but if you like to modify this, you can easily achieve it without any problem. I consider this opportunity to say that on occasion, when commencing the Android game a black screen appears, if it is like this and you notice the black screen and that emulator fails to begin, I comment a doable solution. We would go here, to the cogwheel. Within the emulator options, in the advanced selection we have now lots of resolutions. This is the resolution we have presently chosen by default and so we must select any of these other image resolutions, for example this one here. We choose it and click on save. It may require us to restart the emulator and when restarted, most likely the emulator will begin and that black screen will disappear. Clearly, the emulator is completely in our own language. On occasion it occurs that your emulator is launched in the wrong language, for instance, in Chinese language. And then to set it up in the right language we click here to the cogwheel. Then right here within many other options, we mouse click on the language, drop down. We may decide on the language we prefer, Spanish, Chinese, etc. After the language is selected, we would save, the emulator would restart, as well as the game, next time we use it, would of course be in the preferred language. At this point, there is another point that we have to take into consideration, and it's that we will receive an email telling that a brand new machine has been linked to this Google account. It will likely question us if we are the ones who have connected that device. That's right, we ought not worry, simply because the emulator is acting as an Google Android electronic device. In order to see which tablet or smartphone is currently being emulated, we go here, to the cogwheel and we just click on it. Therefore we go here to the, model, selection. And now we realize that the emulator is behaving like a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all folks, so much for our video tutorial. I sincerely hope you liked it, especially that everyone found it helpful. If that's the case, allow it a great like, subscribe, and if you have feedback, requests or suggestions, put them in the comment field down below.
You may also comment things on my Twitch channel. I do live streams ever so often. You get it below in the video description and in the initial pinned comment. Check out any of the training videos which are usually showing up on the computer screen and let's have fun again in the following videos. Bye.